Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be starting the Battle of Hothmok, and I am very excited for this. I've been waiting a long time to start this, but today this is episode one. And I thought bef instead of getting into everything, I thought we'd just do a little time lapse, me building, and then I'll talk a little bit more about my plans afterwards. So let's get into the time lapse. <laughs> The part I worked on today was the trench. So um, I got a lot of detailing in with these like little, um, I don't know, these like wedge piece or slope pieces. I don't know what they're called, but they look really nice. They have like sharp details. And if you look down the trench, I didn't make it too tall because I didn't want to, I wanted to have it where the minifigures, just basically their heads are showing, like basically just their legs are closed or covered. Which I think is adds more realism because when I looked at the Battle of Hoth, like the Star Wars, the trenches weren't that deep, so I thought you know this would work well. And then, uh, for the texturing, like the plating, I went for more of like a rugged design, so there's like a lot more studs showing, and there are these little like mild, modified tiles with the little slope or, or the piece right here. But I think that look for me, I it just makes the snow look a bit a little more rough because I mean. The battle, you know, there's people walking all over, so it's not gonna be very smooth. So I thought the rough look very looks very well. And then this area right over here, I'm planning on I don't know what I'm gonna I think I'm thinking about doing instead of a um like a door or I don't the traditional door, I was thinking of doing like kind of a mountain background. Because I have a ton of those slope pieces that like I use here. So I might want to make like a uh, mountain background which I think will be really nice and because I also with the I got the probe droid from the new AT ATST so I can incorporate that and do some fun stuff here and then for the snow speeders I do have the only two snow speeders I have are the two junior sets which I'm debating on whether using those but so if you want to see me use those put in the comments what you think I also have another idea with a mountain using one of the advent calendar builds, a little snow speeder, and kind of put it up high so it's like flying in from the base, which I think would be unique and kind of give like a force perspective, which I think would be really cool. And then, of course, you see on the other side we have the ATAT -AT and the ATST. So I'm planning on having these two kind of march up to the little base, and these I don't have as many. These are the only uh, rebel troopers I have right now. Because I'm still waiting on the Hoth character pack, so when those release, when they finally come out, I'll pick up a few of those to fill this in more, add more troops. But I got two of the Snow Trooper battle packs, so I got, I think, a total of 10 Snow Troopers, which we'll be able to fill in this area right here. And yeah, so overall, I'm really excited with the progress we got right now. We got the trench built. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are excited for the series, make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!